What's up, y'all? So today we about to get into Cardi B. Y'all know my good sis got something to say when somebody got something to say about her. I don't think it's it's just a matter of them saying something about her. I think she be needing to defend herself because she feel like they be wrong as hell. But we about to get into it, child. Let's get it. You're listening to Royalty's World, live on the air. We, 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 we yeah, mind the business that pays yeah. us and everyone else's. Let's get into our bag. Royalty, say it with your chest. With your chest. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I am back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell you league? So, it's a lot of talk about being a Nicki and a Cardi fan. It's been like that, right? And y'all know I never got into the whole rap celebrities thing because i just felt like i didn't know enough information on it because i was never really into it like that oh but baby I, now i'm into it these celebrities are on the wilder side of things okay however comma um i am absolutely entertained at this point now <clears throat> maul and rory went well, they didn't go live they were doing their podcast and they had some things to say about cardi b after that cardi b came and defended herself i'm not gonna listen to this whole thing but i'm gonna listen to some of it so y'all can get the gist of what i'm trying to say that to drop an album but more feels otherwise here's what he said cardi b on any of these festival lineups is that odd well she's doing uh ours she's doing hot 97 headliner That's oh she is headlining summer jam yes got you i just feel like Headline in Summer Jam hasn't put out an album in what five years now? 2018, 19, 20, 21. Five years. I, I would have seen her in between these album cycles getting some more money. When are we going to get another? Now, I just want to put it out there because he said getting some more money. Sis been getting money. I'm not understanding what he's talking about. Now, granted, this, we, we could say rap is her bread and butter, but absolutely not, actually. She just had a brand deal with Walmart. She actually did a commercial for Walmart. Um, she also just did the single Tomorrow um, with Glorilla as a feature. You know what I'm saying? As a featured artist, though. But her verse was better than Glorilla's. <laughs> like, the song went up because of Cardi B. Let's just be very clear. For the cardio. Getting some more money from these festival lineups because <laughs> she has a Walmart commercial right now. I, I think she's... Cardi's making money from so many avenues that are Hello. not music. I think she's like, I don't even think she's okay. in a rush to. She doesn't need to. She doesn't have to at all, honestly. But, but the center of it is music. And no matter what, even if it's just doing festival stages, you need to stay relevant within music in some degree. That's mm -hmm. arguable. We saw her put a single out with Kanye and Dirk and it completely flopped. I, I completely agree. That Cardi, that Cardi, Kanye, and I forgot who else it was. Worst song in life. K Kanye's verse though was the worst. Cardi's wasn't. Oh, yeah, Matt. And outside of just the song, it sucked because of her though. It's just a bad, bad song. No, she is the best her. verse by far. But I'm saying, yeah, you can go do the Walmart shit forever, but if you're not staying relevant, at least within music, it's tough. Listen, to let's come have, back let's, have a, let's have a real conversation. Features. Let's have a real car conversation about Cardi. She easily has the best first album career in rap history. Absolutely. She won Grammy for best rap album. She was in Pepsi commercials. Yep. She was invited to perform halftime at the Super Bowl off yep. all of her first album. And Let's just be very clear. When Cardi came into the scene, I mean, even on Love & Hip Hop, everybody was intrigued. I was watching Love & Hip Hop because of her. You know what I'm saying? And has not put out an album since. Mm -hmm. Why? We've never seen nothing like this. Nobody has ever had that much success on their first album. Lauryn Hill? First album. It was her first solo. First album. Nobody. You don't count the album that she Lauren Hill has uh, never been invited to perform at halftime at the Super Bowl. You don't count her albums with the Gwinning team from no. Hip Hop? No, Gwinning team. No. Okay. If a bitch be for me, we gonna be fine. Then album. you disappear. It's been, what, five years, six years since she put out an album? Like Cardi has six. not disappeared. First of all, Cardi hasn't had to make, make an album. And I want to put this in this video because... This is a very important factor, which has nothing to do with Cardi B. But geez, since we just be putting out everybody's uh, all the women together for some reason, they never really do this with the men. They do this with the women. They want them to fight. Rihanna decided, I think, in like 2011, 12, 
Girl, she was done with music. <laughs> Brown was like, bro, fuck me. Shit. I'm about to drop me some clothes. She dropped the Fenty line, her own line. I don't know what her net worth was before that. But baby, she is worth $1.4 billion. Sis has not had to show up to shit. All right. Let's just be very clear. She got married. Okay. She has had a child. I, I feel like she's working on child too. That's why she had that egg on at the Met Gala. But. Sis is worth $1.4 billion. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Billion dollars. So I think that Cardi is deciding, listen, if Rihanna could do it, I could do it. Figuratively speaking, not saying that she literally is copying that cat. But my point is, Cardi B, as for the streets, as a woman, is a legend for the streets. Argue with your mother. However... What she's doing right now is taking care of her children. She made it very clear that she wants to be the best mother, not the best rap artist. Now, I feel as though Cardi B could also be a billionaire if she were to decide to drop a clothing line, drop a makeup line, drop a lipstick line, wig line, something. But she has not done that yet. Why? I think because she wants to take care of her children and be the best wife that she can be, honestly. But. Let's just get into the stats of Rihanna. Rihanna has not done an album in like <clears throat> 10 years. And she just headlined the Super Bowl with all of her own mu her old music. And was it not a bop? <laughs> was it not a bop? Not a flop. It was a bop, girl. We was out there. What am I supposed to do with this heart? Okay. Ella, Ella, listen, I was all into the Super Bowl, baby. I watched the Super Bowl because of Rihanna. Okay, Rihanna Barbados, most famous ex export. Okay, we're going to go expert is a billionaire thanks to the success of cosmetics line Fenty Beauty, the cosmetics company which she co-owns with French luxury retailer uh, L LVMH doubled its revenue in 2022. She also has 30% stake in the Savage Fen Fenty lingerie line, which raised money at one billion valuation in February 2021. Hold on. The pop star headlined the Super Bowl halftime show for the first time in 2023, during which she revealed she was pregnant on her second child. OK, didn't know that that was the, sh the second child at that time because it looked like she's pregnant again. My point is Rihanna has not had to do an album. In years. Cardi B ain't wrong for feeling the way she feeling at these, you know, men, because I feel as though. They focusing on the wrong things. Because if it's about the bag, let's talk about the bag. Not just the fact that you only making money off music. That's not what this is. Six, I'm talking about as far as putting out albums. It's 2018. Oh. Where's the album? Five years. April 6th. Actually, we just passed the uh, anniversary. Uh, take out 2020 and a half of 2021. Why? Some of the best music we ever got was put out in 2020. She's That's not coming Cardi's back at that time. That. Yeah. Best I agree music. with you, but I'm saying Lil she's baby, not coming back. Lil Baby put out the best album in, uh, I think, 2019 or 2020. I don't know. Which is one of his best albums. And it didn't flop at all, but it didn't hit none of the clubs because we was in Covetia. You know what I'm saying? But it was still a hell of an album. He dropped the deluxe right in time. It was lit. 2020 cut it out an artist some like that is not some... coming out at that time also WAP, WAP was a pandemic single oh okay. yes Definitely. and it was the biggest single of that, that year I forgot about WAP that was his record that was Cardi and Meg did she not do the twerculator with the uh, city girls if I ain't mistaken but like that was a record that could never get played in the club because I was on lockdown but that still was the biggest record during the pandemic where's the album I don't know she doesn't need to put out an album she doesn't need that's the thing she doesn't need to put out an album Carby, she just put out the most talked about, and when you're talking about in the scale of female rap, the most talked about verse of the okay, year, tomorrow will. too. Tomorrow's it's a fire verse. Yeah. Like everybody is everywhere is rapping that verse. That song is huge that's because of her. Mm. She, like, I. What? Nah, where is verse? Y'all giving me all everywhere. of these like fillers. Where is the app? You want. She don't need an album, gang. And that's what I feel like he's missing. He's just going to keep talking about that. She doesn't need an album. That's a want at this point. <laughs> now, the argument of her needing to be relevant just to stay relevant in the industry while basically being the best wife that you can and the best mother you can be, I think she's doing that with singles. 
All she needs is a couple of years. Let's just be very clear. Beyonce pops out every once in a while, baby. And when she pops out, it is a uh, epidemic. <laughs> she shakes the whole industry and only pop out once a year. That's what Beyonce does. <laughs> she makes enough money for the year that she can only pop out once. So I honestly don't feel he has an argument. He has a right to his opinion, but I don't feel like he has an argument. Cardi B is, um, to me, one of the best artists as far as women goes. Do I think she's number one? No. Um, also, she doesn't write her music, but I think she's a hell of an entertainer. However, that, you know, counts for um, that in the industry. But Cardi B has some things to say. So we're going to get into that. All right. All right. She's so telling everybody to come in. I'm a self-made bitch. Okay. I'm a super self-made bitch. I made myself. Before a TV show made me, I made myself. And also, I really want to thank anybody that do their research on me and stand up for me. Because a lot of people don't be standing up for me. You know what I'm saying? I think she just don't see everybody that's standing up for her, But I'm going to start standing up for you. And like a lot of, <laughs> it's real popular to talk shit about Cardi. And I want to thank this girl named Damaris because she be standing up for me like crazy. And like she be speaking for me. And like when a man stand up for you, that's great. But when a female stand up for me, that, that means the world to me. So I want to make, I want to give you a little bit of her story. All right. I want to give y'all, I want to rewind it because I feel like my success impact y'all so fast that I don't think that y'all was with me in the 2014s, 2015s and everything. And let me tell you how Cardi B got started, right? Before I was on Love & Hip Hop, I had 2 million followers. And that's crazy. I had no idea she had 2 million followers before Love & Hip Hop. Right? She was already like, she didn't even need loving hip hop. Two million followers, mind you, my page got deleted about three or four times because, you know, I used to pop heavy out of my mouth. I used to talk crazy out of my mouth. Still do, friend. Um, I started doing videos because um, I me. broke up with a guy that really broke my heart. Um, I was going through it. I had like this anger towards men because, you know, I was a stripper. I was going through some shit and I was just fed up. So I used to go on my social media and I used to talk shit. And out of nowhere, people just started following me, following me, following me. I built the following. I and she got a bag and fixed her teeth. And let us know it wasn't cheap. I just want to put that out there. I had all y'all male rappers. I had all the male rappers following me. Um, I had all the influencers, the female influencers following me, bitches influencers. started calling me so cold and all that. I even had Kardashians following me, bitch. I had Kardashians following me. Uh -uh. Chris Rock used to hit me up talking about he want to make a movie for about my life and everything. So boom. Then got I got on Love & Hip Hop. And who got me on Love & Hip Hop was my old manager. And my old manager, he was, he's not, no, he wasn't no industry nigga. He ain't no industry nigga. He, he wasn't in the music industry, none of that shit. He used to manage DJ Self. He was a regular nigga from Queens. I told him I want to get on Love & Hip Hop. Um, it was hard for me to get on Love & Hip Hop. But, you know, we made a storyline with DJ Self and boom, we got in there. Before Love & Hip Hop premiere, I was working on music. Um, my manager at the time, he said that like, yo, every single time you get in the car, you remix things really fast. You should, you should consider doing music. I really was not with it at first because it's like, I was like a little shy. And then he took me to a studio. He played, he put me a beat. He's like, write to this shit. I wrote to it. So I, in my defense, I, I didn't even know she was a writer. I mean, granted, I know she had music before. Obviously she got writers. But I didn't know she wrote anything herself. I'm not even gonna lie. I made strip a hole. And I made, I need all my money makers, bring that cash out. I bring That's home. Cap, because she wrote Bodak Yellow. I'm in there, bring that cash out. He's like, we gotta shoot a video right now for it. I'm like, all right, whatever. Before Love and Hip Hop premiere, before Love and Hip Hop premiere, I wanna get emotional. My manager at the time told me, you need to quit stripping before this show airs out. And I told him, I don't want to tell the world that I'm going to quit stripping because if love and hip hop don't work for me and these things don't work for me, 
I'm going to go back to the strip club because there was girls that were strippers and um, went on Love & Hip Hop. And they said, like, you know, I'm going to... They, they ended up going back to the strip club and, and the bitches in the strip clubs were making fun of them. I didn't want it to be that. But he was like, you know what? You got to believe in yourself. So I bet it on myself. And I think on my 23rd birthday, I said, this will be the last day that I strip. And I told Fair. the world that this will be the last day that I strip. Fair. All right, boom. Love and Hip Hop is out. And I use Love and Hip Hop as an engine to showcase that, like, you know, I'm an artist and everything. Because Indeed. people didn't... People didn't really know that I was doing music because, you know, I was funny, but they didn't really know that I was doing music. So I'm showcasing that I'm an artist and this is what I want to do and all that bullshit. I right, boom. So Love & Hip Hop premieres. I have a song and people are listening to it. It's, it's charting on this random ass chart on Billboard, whatever the fuck. We go to a label and they told me that they wanted to sign me for $50,000. They wanted to sign me for $50,000 and they had to finish watching because Love & Hip Hop was playing, but like the, it was like Love & Hip Hop hasn't finished the first season. So there was that, and we have to see, um, we have to see your actions on Love & Hip Hop. I ain't gonna lie, 50,000 was disrespectful. That's some rude ass shit right there. It's YouTubers that just made 50,000 on a video yesterday. No. <laughs> hip hop, because if you too like ratchet or if you're doing too much, we can't sign you. So, um, my manager at the time told me like, "Now nah, we we're not gonna sign you for no fifty thousand dollars because they're already offering you a hundred thousand for season two of Love and Hip Hop for your second season. We're not gonna like. Oh they're not damn, a hundred thousand from Love and Hip Hop is good. Spread you, I. Right. So, um. We keep going to these labels and we keep showing them that people keep listening to the stripper whole song and then we put forever ran down on that bitch twice and we putting the mixtape out. It does good in numbers, but it's not good enough to get me signed. So then I finally feel like I'm about to catch my break. There's this fire ass song that came out in New York. It's called Wait, Wait, Wait a Minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. They hit me up that they wanted me to be on the remix with Remy Ma and 50 Cent. And let me tell y'all something. I didn't even, this is why I fuck with Remy because I don't really know Remy like that. And when that song came out, I definitely didn't know her at all. Damn. At all. I haven't seen her. And I keep hearing that she wanted me to be on that remix with her and everything. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be my big break. Everybody going to hear my voice finally, finally. So the guy that the song was, the manager at the time, they said that the remix was too long, so they had to take me out of the remix. Damn. And I was so heartbroken because I felt like that was going to be my chance. That was going to be my chance for real, but they had to take me out Niggas of it. Niggas working, boy. So my mixtape is out at the time. My mixtape is out at the time. And I'm doing party hostings for fifteen to $20,000. Damn. Sis been making a bag. So, what me and my manager put together, because a lot of these labels, they felt like, I, right, and yes, she's popular, but is she only popular because she's funny and she's on Love & Hip Hop and her social media? Are people are really listening to her music? Like, yeah, there's numbers on her music and everything, but is this shit really real? So, for us to show them that it's really real... The parties that I, these promoters that was booking me to do parties, we told them, hey, listen, instead of y'all booking us to, to host y'all parties, why don't y'all book performance venue so I could have mini concerts, so I could have mini concerts, so I could promote my show. And that sounds like some New York shit. We call it the underestimated tour. So the money that I, they were paying me instead of hosting, we took it to do a tour so we could record it and film it. People listening to my music and rapping my songs. So we had a couple of openers. We had Castro Harlem, we had Swift on the Man, we have Josh X and we had her celebrity opening up for me. With the 15 and $20,000 that I was getting paid to do these shows, that money I was paying for them 
to get hotel rooms, to get transportation, Damn, to get everything. That's but fire. I wanted this tour to look super legit. So we went to Washington, that's we went dope. to Connecticut, we went to Philly, we went to San Francisco, we went to LA. We was going They went to Charlotte. They came to Charlotte. Yes, I went to that show. The shit was fire. This wasn't a Bodak Yellow moment. This was before that. But it was it was a I had a ball. She was lit as hell. Everybody was into her. Everywhere. And I was performing my whole mixing. And there was so many people coming out. It was like 900 people. Some places had 500 people. Some places had 2,000 people coming out. And we put that all together. And let me tell you something. When we put that all together, a couple of months ago, they wanted to sign me for 50,000, right? In a span of like eight to nine months, when we put all of that together and we showed the labels me. that this shit was real, that we was going to every state and everybody was rapping my music, talking about ran down on that bitch twice. I pull up, like, what's up? Everything on fleet. They saw that and they saw that shit's not a gimmick. This ain't no social media shit. I ain't gonna state cap. State. That was a boss move. People was rapping my fucking mixtapes. So I went from people was motherfuckers was trying to sign me for fifty thousand, then it went to five hundred thousand, and then boom, Atlantic signed me for I think one point two million. I right, whatever. Now I'm signed to Atlantic, and I feel and I feel like oh, as soon as I signed to Atlantic, things are gonna like go crazy for me. I had to hustle again. Mm. Atlantic was trying to get some of the artists on their label to do a feature with me. Guess what? Nobody wanted to do a feature with me. Damn. Nobody. Niggas was like, oh. Niggas was like, oh. Um. Yeah. Let me let me get her number. And I was like, nah. Don't give niggas my personal numbers because I was already a strip. You know, I, I've been a stripper, so I feel like if 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 somebody asks you like, hey, would you do a song with Cardi? But you want my direct number? I feel like you trying to fuck me, and I was Word. not with it. Um. I met my husband. I talked to him. I showed him my music and everything. He loved it. And he was the first person in the industry to do a feature with me. That's dope. My husband. He That's believed dope. in me from the beginning. That's dope. From the beginning. And, you know, I just kept telling him, like, I don't understand. I feel like I'm hustling. I'm hustling. Like, I'm putting out music. That's how I feel now. Oh, but we gonna get it. <laughs> all of this shit like i keep going state to state showing djs my music i don't understand like blah blah blah, blah. months later months later i did bodak yellow and bodak yellow just changed my life word bodak yellow just changed my life i'm sorry y'all we got to give a round of applause i learned some new shit today you learn something new every day it just changed my life but it didn't happen overnight it didn't happen because I was on Love & Hip Hop. It didn't happen as soon as I got signed to a label. I work for this shit. Word. My ass for this shit. Word. This ain't no fucking gimmick, nigga. This is fucking Cardi B. And I ain't fuck nobody. I ain't gave nobody in this industry no fucking pussy, no producer, no DJ, no A&R, no CEO, no nothing. This is the big brand fucking work, nigga. Yeah. Big hat work, putting work on my mama, motherfucker. <laughs> Say no bullshit, nigga. The fuck? Cardi going crazy. Know how many fucking doors was closed on my face? <laughs> you're funny, you're funny. Hey, listen, uh, yeah, we want you on your on our on your comedy. We want you on our comedy skit. We want you on the comedy skit. No, nigga, I wanna be a I wanna be an artist, nigga. Listen to my shit. How are you listen to my shit? Know how many people I went and said that to? Know how many knows? I got. I grinded for that shit. Even for this fashion shit, nigga. Oh. Invested all my little money on this fashion shit. Cause I love, I love clothes. It was hard back then to, to, to get a front row, even at the blonde show for me. Me and my publicist, eh? <clears throat> we couldn't even get in some shows. We were trying to sneak in, like, oh, if, if they see us, if they see us, okay, so fashion my, is if next. If they for see her. my clothes, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna wanna know. It's easier now for females, and I'm not even mad at it. But in 2017, 2016, 15, it wasn't like that. Now, um, now what I wanna say though, too, right? 
when it comes to other female rapper success that are happening now and everything, some are gonna, some females are gonna come up faster than others. Facts. And a lot of people will think that it's that some old- YouTubers come up faster than others. All of this shit is the same game. Okay. I've met people that have surpassed me when they was behind me at first, but this is a different game. See the ones who don't quit. They the ones who always prevail. I'm not quitting, but not only that, <clears throat> it was people that was after me <clears throat> who are married in relationships and who are straight, who have children you know, shit like that. So they had something else to go off of. I'm a lesbian. You know, I'm not your average lesbian either. You know what I'm saying? Jazz, she was with a group of straight people. Not me. You know what I'm saying? So my grind is going to be different and my route is going to be different. And I understood that this year. Y'all don't hear me. I, I needed this. I need, we're not going to watch no more of this because it's just long as hell. But, I needed this. We might, because she's talking about new artists. But, you know, this year, I finally realized what my purpose was. And over the years, not even questioning it, it's just always get to a mark and then go down, mark and go down. I couldn't surpass it. I always plateaued. But doing the same thing, you won't, you won't, that, that one chance that you take, that is different from the chances you were already taking. A lot of times, that's when your takeoff come. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just open to anything. But yeah, that's my story. My story is different from everybody. I ain't the same. And I, I, I'm okay with that. Well, that's because their labels are putting money behind them, isn't that? The labels are putting money behind the girls that people are listening to. So if you feel like somebody is is coming really fast and everything, that's because y'all listening to them. The labels only go with who is getting the most listens, who are getting the most plays, who are people are watching more, this, this, and that. Like that, you cannot blame nobody for that. You Facts. can't blame no machine for that. You can't blame nothing for that. Facts. Labels are only gonna put money on on people on on on, on artists that people are listening to. And you can't, you can't hate on that. You can't. You just can't. I don't know what this un- misunderstanding of, of Cardi B hating on Nicki right now or this whole, um, um, what's her name? Ice Spice situation. I don't understand how this correlates with that. That's why I can't, you can't, you can't hate on nobody else's come up. You can't. Because everybody's going to be like, oh, oh the, the label's putting more money on this. The label's putting money on that. The label's going to... Well, more people support this person and this and not supporting you and that. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes some people are going to pass you. They got a different story. And you don't know how long they've been working. I had no idea Cardi B was putting in all that work. I had no idea. I knew she was a stripper. But what she talking about now? <clears throat> now you can respect that a little more. You know what I'm saying? A lot more. Gonna put money on the they they do analytics. Every, the people are listening to analytics. they're gonna put the money behind it. So you can't hate on it. If you want your favorite female rapper, if you want your favorite male rapper to make it, listen to their shit, promote their shit, make a fan base for them. See? They need bloggers. <laughs> Once the label starts seeing that, that they have a hard following, they're going to follow up. You can't hate on the game. That's the game. That's a fact. A label can sign your cousin. And nobody. <laughs> All right, we done with this. Listen, y'all. I think Cardi B is a respected artist. I just think people miss her. But. Sometimes people take years to put out another album. Kendrick Lamar is another one, but you know, he's iconic. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Um, Cardi B did what she had to do to get to where she needs to be. And I think she did the right thing, but y'all let me know what you're thinking, but you ain't got to go home. Friend. Thanks for listening. Don't slam, I appreciate my, door you. On the Don't way slam my damn door. Get home safe. Have a good night. Have a good night. Y'all make sure y'all comment and comment. Okay. Comments is what get these views going. And I need y'all. And uh, I love y'all so much. Hell yeah.